For when say the 30th of September, this is Force of 13, Australian Oceania Channel, Biometeorology has various warnings in place. Strong wind warning here in Queensland, the Torres Strait Peninsula, Cooktown case, and a similar one for Tamai. Leon and Albany case, a strong wind warning, WA. For Victoria, strong wind warning, West case, and a central case, East Gippsland case. For New South Wales, strong wind warning, Itawai, Batemans, and Eden Coast. And a similar one will be in place Thursday. As for the surf warning remains in place for the Byron, Goffs, Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney, Itawai, Batemans and Eden Coast. But a reduced one possibly for tomorrow. And for Tasmania, strong wind warning, the upper east, lower east, south east, south west, central west coast. And the Bureau has cancelled the one for the far north west, the central north coast, Bank Strait and Franklin Sound. And on the screen, as I look at the Himawari 8 satellite imagery, and thunderstorms are possible for the next 24 to 30 hours. Now we have a, a close look at precipitation from 10 a.m. through to 2200 hours to my we have a look at the scene for New South Wales, Queensland, then the national. Information is at the bottom of the screen. The information is the GFS model and source of the BSCH website. And at the time of uh, doing this uh, first uh, update, current temperatures in the uh, capital cities, 29.2 Darwin, 12 in Canberra, nearly 12 in Hobart, Adelaide is sitting on 14, Perth 16.2, Brisbane 22.8, Melbourne 15, Sydney 18.6. Each of these images are free hourly. Maximum temperatures for all the capital cities. 34 Darwin, 14 Canberra, 20 in Hobart, 18 Adelaide, 22 Perth, 25 Brisbane, 19 Melbourne, 22 in Sydney. Shells or two developing Sydney. Also, showers of Melbourne, partly cloudy here in Brisbane, same Perth, shower two Adelaide, also down there in Hobart, rain developing Canberra, Darwin, mostly sunny. The Graphic on the screen also shows the pressure.
Pio Mita Waruji, Nancy Clint and La Nina is now officially underway, signalling we could be in for wet spring and summer. Repeating, the Pio Mita Waruji declares that we are now in a La Nina signalling a wet spring and summer likely for northern eastern Australia. Australian northern waters are warm with increased convection. This allows more moisture to be lifted into the air than normal, typically resulting in increased rain for eastern and northern Australia. But historically, the southeast misses out. The last major La Nina events were in the summers of 2010, 11, 11 and 12. They resulted in 2010 to 2012 being Australia's wettest two-year period on record. Flooding was widespread and devastating. In early 2011, large parts of southeast Queensland were underwater. The Lockyer Valley was hit by a cascade of water coming off the Toowoomba Range and Brisbane saw its worst flooding since 1974. Dr Wilkins or Watkins said this year's event was looking weaker than 2010-11 based on the current forecast. And I can clearly remember 1974. I spent about seven hours on a bus waiting for a tide to go down. And I can clearly remember the 2011-12 event. Force 13 is looking forward to a major upgrade of its uh, AU channel, Force 13 International is providing a continuous 24 hour, 7 day a week tropical stream on our main channel. We also have our Earthquake channel that is also continuous. For me, David, I enjoy bringing the information to our viewers and Jason is our technical expert. We are both here in Australia and Jason is based in Perth, WA. And what is the Bureau of Meteorology going to say via their Tropical Cyclone Outlook for the 2021 Tropical Cyclone season? It should come out within the next two and a half weeks and I'll be looking to see what the Samoan Met Office also has to say. Also testing out the video editing software, there might be a few hiccups. Please continue to monitor the channel. There will most likely be an other update later on today. There's still a bit more information to be made public and bye for now. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information on Force 13 Australia, you can check us on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force 13AU. You're probably there already.
good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, Keyword413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, Keyword413AU. And if you want to rock our colors, you can do so by way of our store, or you can contribute to the project directly by way of Patreon. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash 413. And you can reach out to us on Skype at 413, or directly to us at Aussie underscore weather 01 at extension 6388 on Discord, or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash 413.